A man's behind bars tonight accused of kidnapping a woman from her gym parking lot in Franklin. Police say Dalton Kelly turned himself into the sheriff last night. Our Alexander Cohen went out to Franklin today to find out what you should do if you're caught in a similar situation. Every day we find ourselves in parking lots, walking to our cars, maybe not really looking. What are some tips that we can do to protect ourselves? One of the main things that, that people really need to do is keep their hands free. Um, obviously, if someone comes up to you and tries to grab you or force you into a car or away from that location, you can't do much if your hands are full. But if your hands are free, there's a whole lot that you can do as far as pushing away, running, you know, turning and running. There's a lot that can be done with just your two hands. The other thing that people really need to do is use their voice. They need to scream and yell and race as much heck as possible because they want to gain a lot of attention. They want people to look over and see that something bad is happening and that it could get worse. And so if you make all this noise and you fight and someone sees you fighting, there's a good chance that they're going to come over and come to your aid. Don't let yourself get pinned in get to pinned. that situation. That's a good idea because I, mean, I can't go anywhere. If, if you I'm take back a step to your it. left, you're, you're out of there. Look at how much room you've got now. Mm -hmm. Now you can back up, you can right. turn around and run. Or to grab onto you, I mean, you want to push me away. You don't want to okay, walk like with I, me. I you want to push me away and scream, and you want to you want to hit me in the. I mean, Scratch all bets are nails. off. Once they grab onto you, all bets are off. I mean, at that point, you know this is not good. You no longer have to assess where this is going. You know, if someone is grabbing onto you, you are in danger, and you've got to fight like heck to get out of that situation. And lastly, if you're in a highly populated area, make sure you're looking to the left and to the right so you know who may be watching you. Reporting for News Channel 5, Alexandra Cohen.